Hey everyone, my name is Pollock and welcome to my channel. This is my very first beauty related video and I just wanted to create something very simple and something you can wear every day kind of makeup look. And so if you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. All right, to start off the look, I am first going to be using the Ultra Professional Matte Primer. It just comes in a little package like this, and I actually got this in um, like a huge package of Ultra Primers. This one's great because it is oil-free, which is good because I have very oily skin. I'm just going to put primer all over just to make all the other makeup go on much easier. While the primer sinks into my face, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows because I know they look horrendous. But in the meantime, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil in Brunettes Do It Better. It looks super janky right now, but one end is the spoolie end and one is the color end. And since my brows are very messy and all over the place, I am going to be using concealer to clean them up. So I'm just gonna be using this concealer. It only says EE on it, but I got this in an Ipsy bag and I'm not really sure what the full company name is called, but it works pretty well for cleaning up the brows. And for the brush, I'm just using this really random square type brush that I have from a makeup brush set that I got a really long time ago. All right, so I'm hoping that helped the brows a little bit more. Since it is an everyday look, I like not wearing foundation like every single day. So I'm just gonna go straight into concealer and I'm using the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Light Beige. I'm just going to be putting that underneath my eyes and on any blemishes that I have on my face. I will be using the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. It just looks like this. Next, I'm gonna be priming my eyelids just to make them the same color as like the rest of my face. Um, so I'm going to be using the Ulta Eye Primer in Nude Matte. And this also came in the whole um, to primer package. Next I'm going to be setting my entire face with a loose powder and I'm just using this Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Medium 02. I am going to be using an Eco Tools um, big fluffy brush. This will also even out, you know, the concealer color that I have up here on my forehead instead of looking like a huge, like, white space right around my eyebrows. Now it's time for the eyes and I am going to be doing a simple winged liner and I actually use two different eyeliners, one for the precision of making it pointed and one for filling it in. So for the precision I use the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in the jet black color. I really like it because it has a really pointed end so you can be as precise as you want. And then for the filling in the eyeliner part, I use Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. It's a little bit thicker and much more pigmented than the e.l.f. one. All right, so I horribly messed up on this wing, as you can tell, so I'm just gonna be using the same concealer I used for my eyebrows and the same brush to clean it up once it dries a little bit, but for now we're just going to ignore that. Next I'm going to be using my Essence Cudgel Pencil in black. It's just a black um, eyeliner for my waterline. For mascara, I am first going to be curling my lashes. 
For mascara, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. It works very well to volumize. Next, I'm going to be putting on highlight and I am going to be actually using the highlight from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, the color Satin Sheets, which is a really nice golden shimmery color. And for the brush, I'm going to be using my Eco Tools foundation brush, but it works well as a highlighter brush too. All right, once we're done with highlight, we go on to blush, and I'm going to be using Tribal Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple Ombre Radiance Blush Palette. It's a very tiny palette like this. Well, I got this in Ipsy, but I'm not sure how big the actual um, package is, but it comes with three shades, and I'm just gonna be using this natural shade that's in the middle. And of course, I'm going to be using my Eco Tools blush brush. For lips, I like to use something that looks very um, glowy. So I like to use my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Party Line. And it's just a beautiful red color. Last but not least, I like to set my face just to give it like a dewy finish. So I like using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. It's about three bucks and I believe it works very well. So yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.